Few presidents are admired as much as Theodore Roosevelt. In 1901, President William McKinley was assassinated, and Vice President Theodore Roosevelt became our 26th President of the United States. He was a very well-educated, rugged individual. He was a man's man, tough and weathered. Whether he played the part of an outdoorsman, a hunter, a soldier, a boxer, or a politician, he made an impression on everyone he met. And as for me, he's my favorite president, so I can think of no better thing to do than to make a tribute to Theodore Roosevelt. I start by making a 3D print and then I'll use the lost PLA method to transform it into bronze. The print turned out really well, but there's still a little bit of sanding to do to erase some of the layer lines. I'll just hit the flat edges where it's most visible. Then I use a soldering iron to open up the bottom so this can be a hollow shell. I went a little too deep and made a hole in the actual shell. Whoops. I'll just take a little wax and plug up the hole. It's kind of fitting because at one time, Theodore Roosevelt was shot and had a hole in him. In 1912, we're running for his third presidential term under his own party, the Bull Moose Party. Theodore Roosevelt was shot during a campaign speech. The bullet was slowed by his massive speech that he had folded in his pocket combined with his metal glasses case. The bullet still lodged within his ribs and he was quoted as saying, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether you fully understand that I have just been shot, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. He continued to deliver his 90 minute speech while blood flowed through his shirt. As for my model, it was a little thin so I coated the inside with a few layers of wax to help thicken it and help the metal flow into it better. I'll then take this piece of wax to act as a pouring funnel and to hold the sprues in place. I want to make sure no bubbles get trapped on the outer rim so I'm going to add a lot of sprues around just to be sure it's vented well enough. Teddy Roosevelt had a long list of accomplishments. At the time, he was the youngest president to ever hold the office. He was the first to ever host a black man for dinner in the White House, his friend Booker T. Washington. He helped secure the construction of the Panama Canal. He was the first president to win the Nobel Peace Prize for settling the disputes between Russia and Japan. And as far as I know, he was the first president to ever have a pet badger in the White House. While on a railroad tour in Kansas, and back in a day when people could just walk up to the president, a little girl came up to him and asked if he would like to have the baby badger. Of course, he said he would. The badger was named Josiah, after the little girl's brother who had originally found the little guy. A special cage was built for him at the White House, complete with a place for him to tunnel underground. But when they would let him free, he was known for being a little bit aggressive and biting people's ankles. Then again, not so different from Theodore. The 3D models placed an investment and then put in the vacuum chamber to suck all the bubbles out. It's then placed in the kiln to melt out all the PLA and burn out all the residue. Unlike wax, the PLA can leave behind a little bit of ash, so I use an air compressor to blow out any ash left behind and make sure the mold is really clean. This will be vacuum cast. The vacuum causes air to be drawn through the investment and should give me a higher quality finish. This will be cast out of pure silicon bronze. This is the first time I've used this size flask and the setup for it. And when I tried to place the hot flask in, I realized the hole wasn't big enough. And I underestimated the amount of thermal expansion that these flasks undergo when they're this hot. So I had to quickly get my Dremel out and try to make the hole bigger. And that ended up working, barely.
Now I had another pour that I wanted to get to and what you're about to see is pure stupidity. Well, sometimes I just do things that are really dumb. I had another melt that I wanted to pour, so I kind of rushed things. You can't rush metal. I tried to quench it too soon, and apparently inside that investment, it was still molten. And as soon as the water came and hit that molten metal, it flashed to steam, and poor Teddy exploded. I mean, completely just shattered. The top had solidified, but the center wasn't. Sorry, Teddy. That was really disappointing, because I really wanted to see how Teddy turned out. We'll do better next time. Poor Teddy. So it's back to the drawing board. We'll get another print ready and we'll go again. So Teddy's back in there. Let's try this again. The PLA is burned out and the flask prepared exactly the same as the first one. So we're gonna take Teddy and put him back in the crucible and melt him down again. You know, Teddy didn't succeed every time he tried something either, but he was persistent and that's why he was successful. Take more than that to kill a bull moose. Hopefully this time he doesn't explode. In his younger days, Teddy Roosevelt tried his hand at becoming a cattle rancher in North Dakota. After a brutally severe winter, all of his cattle died off and he lost everything. He ran for the office of mayor in New York City and he lost. So if I fail at a casting, I think it's okay. So this time the vacuum didn't seal. The liquid coke, all it takes is one little hole and you don't get a seal. So hopefully it still worked. Now I'm paranoid about the quench. So I very cautiously and carefully put it in the water. This time it's okay. Now it's time for the metal chasing. I'll cut off all the sprues, clean it up, and see how he looks. I use a combination of wire wheel and sandblasting to get all the investment off. It turned out well except for a few holes on the top of the head. I'm going to fix them the old fashioned way. By taking an old piece of sprue I can cut off a very small piece of bronze and instead of using my welder I'm just going to hammer this small piece into the hole. Before welders this is how people would have fixed flaws and inclusions in their castings. Once that's seated nice and solid I'll use a hand file to re-carve the hair pattern into the sculpture. I do the same thing for the other holes. The plugs hold up and stay in place pretty well. I kind of expected them to fly out when I hit it with the wire wheel, but they stayed in. Normally I'll put this in a liver of sulfur to give it a patina, but in this case I put it in my kiln and heated it up to about 600 degrees to give it a natural dark. I'll do a little bit of buffing and then it'll be done. I'll auction this guy off on eBay. Check the description for the link if you're interested. Well, I think Teddy would be delighted. It's not quite as clean as Lost Wax. The PLA texture isn't quite as smooth. Looks like he kind of had a rough shave. Knowing him, he probably did. I'll have this little guy auctioned off on eBay. 
I'll have the link in the description. Let me know who your favorite president is and what you'd like to see me do next. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.